Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. If you didn't see the end of my last one, the lake trip vlog, at the end I was mentioning how that was the last of our travel plans for spring and summer. And so we're just gonna be home for a while, which is gonna be nice to just get things done because I feel like I haven't done a whole lot in the last couple months and I need to get the ball rolling on all the embroidery stuff. And so now that I'm back, I wanna get a lot done. It's currently Tuesday and I got back Sunday night. And so yesterday I got some things done, just like caught up on emails, packing some orders. I ordered like bobbin and stabilizer. I had to figure out what stabilizer size to buy. Cause I'm like, okay, if I wanna fill one of these, I'm trying to like figure out what sizes I can get away with and stuff like that. I ordered the thread, which I did order from Madeira. <laughs> I picked a different shipping option, so I'm hoping it goes a little smoother this time. I'll have to dig up my zip-up samples, which I actually got Christian to do, because the sweaters were delivered like a week ago or so. I realized it was kind of a stupid time to order it because we were gonna be gone for so many days of the week. Like we were gone back-to-back -back weekends and only home two days in between. So it was kind of stupid of me to order them when I did. And so they were delivered the Friday we left to go to Vancouver. And I thought for sure that it would require a signature and it, they'd have to just try again until we're home to sign for it. But no, they just dropped the boxes on the front step and that was like $8,000 worth of sweaters. And it was just dropped there and I'm freaking out. And so we messaged Christian's brother who thankfully was still in town. He was about to leave town for the weekend and he was still in town so he could swing by and move them into the garage. So, <laughs> We know our neighbors, but don't have their numbers. I think we really need to get their numbers because stuff like this. In those boxes, I got the pullover hoodies as well as the crew necks. And I got them in two colors, the pink and the sandstone. And I didn't bulk order the zip ups because I hadn't tried any samples yet. And so we had to find the samples in the box. There are literally two zip ups out of all these boxes. I had Christian digging through to find them. But what's interesting is they sent some other samples too, like stuff I didn't request. So it's kind of neat seeing the other stuff. But um, this is one of the zip ups and I like the color, like it's close to the other sweatshirts, I guess. But I'm, I don't know, the string I don't like as much as the other one I ordered. And this has the white zipper and like white trim. It's very, you know, heavy on the white accents but it is very soft, very cozy. It's got that super soft inside, although that's gonna not stay soft after a handful of washes. But this one I could tell as soon as I put it on, I was like, oh, this is gonna pill. And I wore it yesterday and there's already a teeny amount of pilling under the arm. Cause usually it happens right here where your arm rubs against the side of your chest. And so it's already getting some pilling. So I think this one's a no-go. And then there's one Christian's wearing. I don't like the color, but I could tell from the feel. I'm like, ooh, this seems like it's gonna be more pill resistant, but it's a lot thinner. It's like an ultra thin material. And I do love thin sweaters and Christian vouches for its comfiness. And I'm gonna wear it too, obviously. I don't like that color though. There are other colors. And the tricky thing is I'm trying to find a sweater line, like a zip up line that roughly matches the colors of the crew necks and pullover hoodies because I love those colors so much. And so the ones I got are from independent trading company and they have like a pigment dyed line. And so the crew necks and the pullover hoodies are the same material and same color selection, but it's gonna be a lot harder with the zip ups. So we'll see, cause I would like to, I gotta look at them again online, I guess. and. Uh, possibly just do some other brands because there are other zip ups from this brand, but they don't have the color selection I want. So I might want to start looking into some other ones. And I just, I don't know. Like my favorite zip up that I am obsessed with is my Twitch one, which is Bella and Canvas, but it has the same pilling problem. So I'm like, do I just let it pill? Like I feel like pilling is gonna eventually happen to nearly any sweater, but these independent ones, sorry, Kiki, she's laying on it. I literally have it here because I was wearing it yesterday until we dug these out, but I've worn this so many times and there's not a hint of pilling and I love that. And so I don't want to, you know, <laughs> if I'm going for a certain quality with certain ones, I don't want to settle for a lower quality for other ones. I don't know. It's a whole thing. Because <laughs> I would love to offer all three sweater types. 
Uh, oh yeah, yesterday I was like tending to my flowers and he did a bunch of deadheading and weed pulling and I pulled weeds from the gravel beside the driveway and I had to file a return for Alberta corporations, which like I need to do an annual, annual return for like federally, but you just submit it online. It's like a quick, easy two minute thing. This, I have to bring it to a registry office. And I'm like, why? So I haven't actually filed it. I've got it filled out and printed off, but so annoying. Oh, and I edited the vlog, which was a big task. I was trying to get all the clips off my phone, which apparently was a billion of them and it took a while, but yeah, I got that vlog all edited and up. So that was yesterday. And today I wanna to work on notepad, planner pad and washi tape. I don't know if I'll get to all three of those, but just work on some of the strawberry design stuff. I had templates for things, but then I ended up needing a different size for the manufacturer I used. And so my templates didn't work. Like the templates are too big. The templates are for an eight and a half by 11 pad, but they print it on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. So that's actually slightly smaller than that when they trim it. And so I can't just slap it all into my templates. <laughs> so I gotta figure that out and figure out if I'm going with the same manufacturer or not. Cause like there's another one I almost went with that is also local and so I'm tempted to just give it a try. Yeah, I'm just gonna start looking into that. Okay, here's the other one. It's got dual string cause you can pull out whichever one you don't want, I guess. So if you want matching color or the contrasting color. I like how the metal looks a little more polished on here. Same with here. Um, but yeah, this one doesn't have the fuzzy inside but it's just like a nice light sweater. So I'm gonna have to wear this one too, just to test it out. Cause yeah, I don't like this color too, too much. It's not that different, but it's pastier. There are other ones. I think this one had a darker color, but it was darker than this and I was unsure. And so I'll have to look again, but that's the other one. And that's, that's the inside. Okay, I have some combos made up. We have combo one, which is just the two strawberries overlapping, kind of like the full design, but the versions with the short stems. And then we have combo two, which I'm a, I'm a little iffy about, but, oh, I didn't add the shading under here under the big leaf. I gotta do that. I added the shading under the flower though. <laughs> and then there's combo three, which is the biggest one. It's kind of like a more simple version of this, I guess. So that's what I've come up for combos. And then I can still overlap stuff as needed for certain products. Cause like this might be a bit big for the washi or, I mean, that could be like the main piece. I feel like for sure the full, full design is too big for the washi like this, that's too much. So this can maybe be the biggest element in it. And then I can arrange other stuff around accordingly, you know? Okay, here's the washi. Maybe I'll just put an overlay because that's not gonna film well. This area of the shadow is where it'll be cropped. So that's the bleed lines there. So anything overlapping that will be gone, but that's the design, So I'm trying to figure out notepad size because I have been getting them five by seven the last couple times. My very first ones were the 4.5 by 5.5, which I find is a little small. Like I kept the design very basic on these so that you could still have a good amount of writing space but then I feel like you're kind of limited with designs. So if you have a bigger notepad, you can fill the edges with more cute stuff, you know? So yeah, I did go bigger, but five by seven is a custom size. You can't just select this size on notepad websites. So I always have to get a custom quote and whatnot. I'm toying with the idea of the eight and a half by five and a half, which is basically a sheet of paper folded in half. So it is bigger which would leave me more room for designs, especially top to bottom. It's just starting to feel really big, but I might try that just so it's easier to order and you know, I can just order directly off their website, upload the files, and then it's good to go. Even though this is nice because it's the same size as my prints. And so it fits in my sleeves nicely. Like these would not fit into my existing sleeves. It probably, yeah, they're probably too wide and for sure too long, but I could, you know, use different sleeves. The biggest problem with this size is that it doesn't fit into my boxes. It's gonna be just a little too long. So that's a bummer because I'd have to upgrade to the bigger box size just for a notepad. Even my little VHS boxes, it's too long. So I'm like, well, 
What would you rather do? The custom size of notepad or, you know, use different boxes. <laughs> I used to be very strict about making sure everything fit into my 8x8 boxes, but I've since done larger items, like my planner pads used to be square and now they're rectangles, so things change, things change, so I'm like, are the notepads going to change too? Ugh, because i got to figure this out, i got to figure out the size before I start creating the file. They just keep getting bigger and bigger, like this one here is a quarter of a sheet. I think that's how they come up with their default sizes. So, <laughs> this is twice as big as this one. Okay, I did find one website that does the five by sevens. Um, they're not cheap, but the other size is not really cheap on other websites either. The best price is definitely the one I got the ducky notepads from, but they do thinner paper which is interesting because when I got my custom quote, I requested a certain paper weight, but by default, I guess they do like 24 pound paper for their notepads. Despite me requesting 60, they made them with 24, which I was not very happy about. And so everywhere else I'm looking, it's a lot more expensive, but like I, I want the thicker paper, so I might just have to change the price of the notepad. When I did the, the bunny ones, those ones cost a lot, although that was super thick paper. I had to charge 10 USD per notepad, and that's not as much as I would like to mark up. Like, my profit margin was not as high as I had wanted. Um, then these are five, so we might have to meet somewhere in the middle. What I do like about this website that has the 5x7s is it lets me select quantity 1,000 if I want, because other ones, if you want higher than 500, you need the custom quote, which is, like, fine. I've done it but it's nice to just be able to upload your file and order what you want, right? So I just have to commit to a website, I guess. I mean, this one's got the five by sevens. I should give it a try. So this is my five by seven notepad template. I've got like the wave border in there, uh, straight border. Although I don't think I'm gonna use either of those for this one, but I've got my ruled lines there and I've got all the the crop and safety lines and everything. So that'll make my life easier for the planner pad. It'll, well, mm, well, no, maybe if I, if I still have my original eight and a half by 11, I might be good for the planner pad actually. Like the last place I got the notepads from, they could not do eight and a half by 11 full bleed apparently, even though it shows on their website, they do eight and a half by 11. But the other places it is full bleed. So maybe I can use my original template for that too. Oop, look what we have here. Hello, little buddy. <laughs> the flowers are coming in. Yay! Oh, this one too, with the lighter flowers. Whoa. <gasps> I see raspberries. I see raspberries. I thought it wasn't going to produce this year because it looked a little bad two weeks ago. <laughs> And I guess while we're out here, here are the flower beds. <laughs> Looking pretty good. Except for a couple bulb patches there. Oh. Hello. Were you creeping on me? Oh, really? When you jumped up earlier today, you scratched the heck out of my neck. That was not very nice. Oh, I just remembered I wanted to also look into a new alert system for my streams to see if there's one that's a little more YouTube specific because my current stream alerts work more for Twitch because like the way Twitch works is after you subscribe to someone, the month it renews is considered your two month anniversary, even though it's only been one month. Whereas on YouTube, it counts it properly. And it after the first month, you're at your one month anniversary. But because it's working off the Twitch system, anytime someone's one month comes up, my alert system sees it as a new membership on YouTube when it's not a new membership. 
And so I do want to look into that too if I have time. Maybe I'll make the notepad and then I'll look into that. And then if I need to do the planner pad another day, I can push it towards another day. We'll see. Just because the stream's tomorrow. So if I want to get that fixed, I need to do that today. How am I supposed to get anything done with this little cutie here demanding my attention? Look at her. Little cutie. Look at your little handies. New message, Sunday, 4.22 p.m. We have important things to inform you. Your phone has a violation. About to force shutdown if you need to inquire about the reason. Please press <laughs> one for English service. My press phone is about to force time. shut down, you guys. Message deleted. Anyway, I just had a missed call because my phone is always on silent. That was not the one. That was from a couple days ago, that voicemail. But I got a call from Madeira because I guess there's a stock issue on my order. So I need to call them back and see what the issue is. Hopefully it's not too, too bad. Like I thought I was being a little conservative with my thread order, but I really just don't know. Like I'm just ordering some thread. We'll see how fast it starts to get used up and then I can order more. But if there's a stock issue, I can't get more. <laughs> so, let's see what this is about. Hi, I'm just calling back. I received a message that there was a stock issue with my order. It should be USPS, not UPS ground. I'm not sure why it says that. Okay, that means every, that means everything's in stock then? Perfect. All right, thank you so much. All right, bye. Okay, I guess there's really no problem. They just ended up moving the order to their Texas warehouse because everything was in stock there. So problem solved. So this is how much I ordered of each color, but I don't know the ratio of colors that I'm gonna need, right? <laughs> like, I haven't even finalized the design, but I need to get the thread ordered ASAP. So uh, just kind of guesstimated and ordered. And I ordered two extra colors for the signature for the sweater, like the kind of logo. And I tried to pick colors that are really close to the sweater color. So that's what those are. Okay, here's what I have for notepad. This is what it looks like without cropping. This is what it would look like cropped. So I did end up going for a bordered look because I thought an arch would look cool. This is not at all what I originally thought. I thought there would be kind of like a focus with design elements at the bottom and then a smaller portion at the top. But once I thought of this, I just could not get it out of my head. And I'm thinking of going lineless. I have had at least one request for lineless notepads. And so I think that would work well with this design. Just the arch is nice for the lineless. I don't know if this is breaking the silhouette of the arch too much. Like it was an intentional choice to have it breaking the border, but I don't know if I like that. Cause I could have it higher like this. It's still breaking the border more than the other stuff. I mean, this feels more intentional. This maybe feels more like a misplacement. I don't know. I was also debating whether or not there should be stems in the background behind the items like this, but I opted for the green outline on the border instead. Okay, I've been fussing with the alerts and researching stuff. So I was using Stream Labs for the alerts and I'm now trying out Stream Elements, but I think it's gonna give me the same problem Stream Labs did but I'm not gonna know for sure until the stream starts. So now I have an actual alert for gifted memberships. It looks like this. And the audio says, in honor of employee brotherhood, I present to you a gift from the episode Dying for Pie. <laughs> and then the resub alert is the same. It says once a member, always a member, but I swapped out the gift. It's still Handsome Squidward, but a different one. We'll see how this goes over. I like the flowers and I like how it's pixelated like the rest of my gifts because the Dancing Squidward one was different. So I don't know, we're gonna try that out, but I'm just not convinced it's set up properly because I go to my uh, settings here and it says subscribed instead of membership. So that concerns me, but I think that might just be leftover lingo from when it was Twitch only, I don't know. And if I set it to be at least one month, it'll do this alert for new memberships. At least I thought I was testing the new membership alert because it's really confusing because when I go down here, I click emulate member event, there's one, three, and gift. And I'm like, what? So does one mean like a one month anniversary or does it mean it's your first month being a member? It's very confusing. Cause if I have that one setting to be a mountain is at least one, it, yeah, it would come through as instead of the new membership alert. And so I have it set 
to requirement amount two, but I think that's gonna give me the same problem where when someone has their one month anniversary, it comes through as a new membership. So I don't know. We'll give it a try at least for tomorrow. And if this doesn't work, then the alerts are just messed up. <laughs> okay, so next day, um, my stream is starting like right now. So I'm a little frazzled. I just curled my hair in about five minutes. I had to grab such big sections. It's probably not gonna stay curled if you can even call this curly. I just wanted it smoothed out, you know, so it's fine. It's fine if it's mostly straight, as long as it's smoothed out. I have everything set up already, but I had to run upstairs last minute to eat and do my hair. Oh, I don't have my mic turned on yet. Scrambling just like the old days to get the stream started. And I have to hit play on the music. Oh, I didn't have time to do an audio level test, so hopefully it's good. Also, I'm realizing I didn't grab my wireless earbuds. Ow! <sighs> Hello, everybody. Feels like it's been so long since I've seen you and just get some stuff. Oh my God, am I still recording for the vlog over here? Oh my God, yes I am. Oops, sis. No, Midna. I'm fighting for my life over here. I even put her on the ground and she came back up. <laughs> she discovered the deliciousness that is the adhesive on this thing. Oh, you'd also just turn the light off. Oh, and it's back on. No, Midna. Hey. <laughs> She's addicted. She's going feral for the goods. You think it's catnip. Stop. Usually it's Kiki being the bad one. She's just sniffing Midna's butt, I guess. <laughs> I'll put you on the ground again. I'll hold you on your back like a baby. Oh, she hates being picked up and especially being held like a baby. I'm gonna do it. Baby, no. <laughs> you being a bad baby? You being a bad baby? You stop, okay? Oh, look who's back. We had a few minutes of peace. Yeah, you can chew that. Just do not lick the adhesive look at this chaos here got two babies no midna you're so bad usually you're the good one <laughs> people keep redeeming the sound bite why baby why no hey midna stop oh that's cute if that was a picture i take a screenshot beautiful baby I'm just editing this and I never updated you on how the stream alerts went, although you'd know if you were at the stream, but it was not working. When I used stream elements, the one month resubs just wouldn't come through at all. So I don't know if there is a way to make it work properly for YouTube or what. I might have to reach out to these alert brands and just see if they have a solution, but it did not work and I ended up going back to my old alert system even though it still is not working correctly it at least has an alert coming through for those one month resubs or membership renewals whatever okay the stream is over and the replay is up on my channel if you want to check it out i got through most of this section except for this rose here and then there are a few little spots let's turn off this light and turn on this one yeah there's this section here these and then a few just surrounding the rows. But that's more than I thought I would get done, honestly. I pretty much just stopped when Christian had supper ready and I ate not even half of it. <laughs> I mean, I did have some snacks on stream, which I needed, but I think it kind of made me a little too full for supper. <sighs> and I was just on my phone for a little bit, getting a little too distracted. <laughs> now I need to. Move on because I need to do some cleaning just because it's due, it needs to be done. But also Christian's parents are coming tomorrow. And so it makes sense to get it done now while I have the time for it. But first let's take a look in here. So my sweater shipment. We got those boxes down there and this one here. And yeah, the hoodies are just like the crew necks. Same material, same color selection and I love them. And then there were a whole bunch of samples. I was gonna say, what is this? But Christian was just folding boxes in here. It's box shavings. There's a whole bunch of toques. This looks like a little mini one, like the kind that sits on the back of your head maybe, or child size. Like look, I have small hands and that's, that's little. Excuse me? Except not all of these are labeled, so I don't know what's what. Like, some of them, the tags are cut out. <laughs> like, which, which toque is that? I don't know. I wonder if something like this would even be good for embroidery because it's so stretchy. 
This style for sure would be good. Um, yeah, but they just sent those as extras. And this stuff, there's a little pair of shorts, size small, it's too small for me. Camo, whoa. But then it's got this, which I think is interesting to see all the colors. The swatches. Then we have these shorts here, sweatpant material. And again, swatches, we got some cute pastels in there. Cute, cute, cute. And then sweatpants. Although these, I don't think are the pigment dyed ones. No. Oh, this is the same swatches as the shorts. Cause there are sweatpants that match these. Cool, cool. And then there is this crew neck, which is a different kind than what I got. This feels so, so nice, but the color selection is not as good. Again, it's got the swatches attached. That is very nice though. And now let's put these away so Kiki doesn't lay on them. Oh, and I got all these catalogs, like the Shaka Wear catalog. Well, this seems to be mostly boy stuff. Optima. Mm -hmm. And Independent. Oh, this is actually convenient. Color Swatch Library. And then all the styles here. Yeah, this would be handy for a quick glance at everything instead of navigating the website, just seeing at a glance all the colors for different things. These ones I do not recommend. <laughs> Women's California Wave Wash. The raw edge looks so weird in person. It feels like the shirt's unfinished. It's just surged along the bottom, but it pills instantly. It's soft and cozy. Instant pilling though. Here are the sweatpants, the pigment pants. So yeah, these are all the colors of the pigment crew necks. A lot of blank websites, Canadian blank websites, don't have the full color collection. That's why I only have these plus the pink. Oh, pink and sandstone are not hanging there. Like this one and this one. But there are more here. That clay looks really nice. Okay, these are the ones I have and the hoodie version as well. This one seems nice, but look at the color selection. Where are the pastels? Oh, so I don't know what I'm gonna get zip ups in. I gotta wait until I find something I really, really like. Okay, it's now Thursday. I got all my cleaning done except the floor mopping, which is probably for the best because we're making a mess of the floor now, being in and out of the garage. So that was probably for the best. So Christian's parents got here this morning, sometime after 10, 10, 15, or I don't know exactly what time it was. And we left pretty much right away to go get supplies because Christian's dad and Christian are building a storage unit for the garage. I'm removing screws. Okay, this is the space where it's gonna be built. Railing gone. That's progress so far. Um, I might work on my planner pad. I'm gonna make a tweak to my notepad design because I feel like the strawberry in the top left corner is too big. It's too similar in size to the middle strawberry. So yeah, just get one last look at the note pad, tweak it, and start on the planner pad. So yes, yeah, so it's this strawberry, which looks pretty much the same size as that one, and they're competing. So I'm gonna make that smaller, and then I think I'm gonna print it out at its proper size, just to double check that I like it. It was a quick print, so the colors aren't quite right, but there it is. That's how it would be cropped. I'm now moving on to the planner pad, but first let's go check on the rest of the crew. Okay, here's the basic color layout so far at least. I was playing around with which elements get to be which color. And here's where I'm at now. I might change my mind once I add all of the border elements. But yeah, next step, just copy and paste strawberries, flowers, leaves, and arrange them how I like. I wonder if I should flip some of these upside down so you see the stem. I might do that along the top and bottom. Especially with the big strawberry, it's like, do we want just the tip of the big strawberry? Should we flip it? Flip that pink one too. That looks pretty good. Okay, and I've now flipped this one. So before, after, I kind of like the flipped. It just helps break it up a little bit because it's like, two of the same shape next to each other. 
Now I'm looking at this. If I flipped this one upside down and this one, this one for sure, because we've got triple strawberry here. So if I flip this one upside down, that might help break things up. And then I'd have to do one on this side. So I feel like this might be nice because we've got a little trifecta here too. I like this chair. Mm -hmm, it's comfy. Mm -hmm. And yeah. what did I say the fridge was? Yes. 35 inches. Got my little visitor down here requesting pets. Are you being a bit shy still? Yeah. Oh, I'm getting close to being on the border. I moved this over and completed the border. It's kind of like how the video game one is where the corner graphic does not overlap the border at all. Cause some of them I do overlap it, but then filling the gaps was getting kind of awkward and broke the pattern of the borders. So I think I'm gonna have it like that. And then if I activate the thick white border, that's where it would be cropped. So that's with the bleed and then this is where it would be cropped to. And I quite like that. So I think I'm gonna call that done. And then I'm going to just revisit the notepad and tweak a few things. So I made this one upside down and this one and this one. And I think I'm gonna flip this leaf around too. There we go. So that and that. I'm pretty happy with these. <laughs> Okay, notepads and planner pads are ordered. They're coming from two different places, so it'll just be interesting to compare. Because I probably could get them all from the same place, like I could do a custom order with the one place to do the five by sevens, but it's kind of neat trying out multiple places just to see what it's like. So yeah, that's ordered. Washi's not ordered because I just got the Vogue Grace VIP, which I didn't have already because I didn't really understand what it was or how it worked. You just get an additional discount code, but you have to buy a membership. And right now the membership's $10 off. And so I bought it, but I don't have access to the discount code yet in my account. So I'm just waiting. <laughs> Plus I need to prep stickers too, because I think I'm gonna get some of my stickers through them, just the ones that are gonna have any kind of hollow film. But I think that's all I'm gonna do for today. I am gonna go check on the guys and also possibly start cooking supper. I'll see if people are starting to get hungry. Progress. Here's progress. <laughs> so it's gonna be built up higher too, but we wanted something where we could incorporate this little freezer that we got from my mom. This little extra deep freeze space. And it's a nice height here. And then on this side, there's storage here accessible from this side. And then everything else will be accessible from up here. So that's what the guys got up to today. That's what they have so far. Well, we just played some Saskatchewan Rummy. I lost by a lot. Everyone else is over a thousand. 260. <laughs> by far my worst game. Isn't that right, Lelouch? And now it's Friday. I was just editing the vlog, but I'm holding off on exporting it until I can get a final shot of the storage unit in the garage. But Kristen just came and told me that it's done. So let's go see. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that. Freezer's even plugged in. Look at all the shelves. Oh, we even got holes to adjust the height. And then on this side, some storage underneath. Woohoo! All right, that is it for this vlog. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm going to start with the celebration. Cause it's a classic. Although I think I have to make a recent one too. After. I mean, I could add a little bit of cookies and cream on here. Wait. The maple marshmallow. Mm -hmm. Quite maple.